Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel and today I am making this video after uh, six months so I was busy in my job and other things so I am back and now from onwards I will be making the videos daily and so today uh, we I am going to teach you and we are going to do uh, uh, we are going to do how we can use the storage permission for Android 11 and 12 that has been changed uh, changed by the google so how we are going to do so basically uh, if we had uh, from android 1 to android up till 10 so we were able to access all the storage inside our mobile phone but now in android 11 and 12 we are not able to access the storage okay so now the google wants us to use the manage external storage uh, user permission so after we give this permission to the user so then the user will be able to access the storage so now we are i am simply going to teach you how we can use the manage external storage permission so it is very easy so if you have some apps which are targeting android uh, sdk version 30 i mean the uh, update android 10 so after my this uh, video you will be able to change all of your applications and also you can work on your new applications by just following my tutorial so guys let's get started all right guys so i have this android studio so i will create a new project and i will click on empty project and i will rename the project as uh, manage storage tutorial all right and now you can see that i have this android studio and it is now building our application and also i want to tell you that i have updated my windows 10 to windows 11 so here you can see i am using this android studio on a windows 11 machine so i did not feel any issue so if you are planning to upgrade your operating system to windows 11 then you can surely do it and i think that you will enjoy it because it's one of the best operating system i have ever seen all right so how we are uh, okay so now the project has been successfully uh, so now what we are going to do first of all go to your manifest file and here we are going to uh, remove the device and start the computer all right guys so there was uh, issue which i was installing the driver so here we can say use this permission and first of all we have to use the uh, we have to use the write and read external storage permission because if we have android uh, 10 or 9 or 8 so we can use those permissions so for this we have to use android dot permission dot write external storage then we are going to use use this permission and read external storage so we have these two the uh, permission and finally we have to use the permission manage external storage all right so now we have the manage external storage uh, permission here and now we have to go to, to our main activity and here inside our on resume method we are going to take the uh, user permission and we have to check if the user has successfully uh, enabled the permission or not all right so here what we are going to do is first of all we have to create a new java class and we name it as utils and for the utils we have to create a function that will tell us if the permissions are granted or not so for this we can say public static boolean and is permission granted and here we can have context sorry guys so here we are receiving the context here and now we can easily check so first of all we have to check if the operating system on which the application is installed is android 11 or not so for this we can say if build dot version dot sdk int and if it is greater than or equal to 
build dot version dot sorry version codes dot r okay and then we can simply say return environment dot is external storage manager and inside our else part we have for all those devices that are not using the android 11 or 12 so for this we can say int read external storage and equal to context compact dot check self permission in here we have to pass on our context and then we have to pass on the permission so for this we can say manifest dot permission dot read external storage and okay i think we can only have a single string here so here we have the read external storage and then we can say return read external storage and if it is equal to package manager dot permission granted all right so now if the permission is granted so this will uh, this will return true in our is permission granted function so here we can check if utils dot is permission granted and we can pass on this so if the permissions are not granted then we have to uh, display the we have to display the restriction that uh, and we have to display a dialog so for this we can simply say new alert dialog and we can say dot builder and we have pass on our contact then we can say set title and all files permission then we can say dot set message and inside our message we can say due to android 11 restrictions this app requires all files permission all right and then we can say set positive button and the positive button will be allow and here we can have new dialog interface and here we can say dot set negative button and we can say deny and finally we can say dot set icon and for the icon we can say android dot r dot drawable dot ic dialog alert and finally we can say dot show all right guys so here we have this alert dialog and here we are checking if the permission is not granted then we have to display the all file permission dialog here and if we click on allow so here we will write to take the permission uh, take permission then this function will be called whenever when the user will click on allow all right and here we can do any other thing like else we can display a toast message like permission already granted all right so now we have to uh, write the code for the take permission so we can create the method and make sure to select this main activity so we have the take permission function here so we are going to write the code for the take permission and similarly for this we have to uh, use the intent to open the permissions so for this we can here also check if build dot version dot stk int and if it is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot r and so here we can say intent equal to new intent and inside this we can say settings dot action manage app all files access permission 
all right then we can say intent dot add category and inside this we have to say android dot intent dot category dot default all right and finally we have to use the uri and for this we can say uri dot from parts and here we can say package and we say get package name and we have to pass on the fragment that is null because we are not using any fragment here and finally we can say intent dot set data and for the data part we can pass on the uri object here and finally we can say start activity for result although it is duplicated but right now i am using it and it is working fine but i will tell you how we can change this the start activity for result so in my other part of the video i will be doing that so there and we have to pass on our request code that is this and for the intent we can use the try and catch block so for the any exception so if in uh, if there is any uh, exception here we can say intent intent equal to new intent and then we can say intent dot set action and inside the action we can use settings dot action manage all files app all files okay and then we can simply say start activity for result and we can pass on our intent objective and also i forgot to write 101 so that was the code for the uh, android 11 and 12 devices and if we do not have the android 11 and 12 so there inside our else part what we are we will have is we can say activity compact dot request permissions and inside this we can pass on this then we can say this string array and here we are going to write manifest dot permission dot read external storage and we have the manifest dot permission dot write external storage all right there we will just close it and we will write 101 okay that is the request code or I think we can uh, okay so here we have the code ready and now we have to override the method on request permission result so for this we can say like on request permission result and here we can check if the grant result dot length is greater than zero then here we can check if request code is equal to 101 so then we can simply check so we can say boolean read extra for the external storage and here we can say equal to grant result zero and if it is equal to package manager dot permission granted all right and then we can check if it is false so if read external uh, ext is false if it is not granted then we can take the permission so we just write the take permission 
function here so now our app is ready so let me run the app and let me show you the output All right, so it is saying that uh, my build tools version is corrupted and remove and install using the services. So that's why I am not able to show you my app. But uh, if you run the app, this will you can easily grant the permissions for this. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.